Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can make a bonus of $100,000 and the great thing is there's only one requirement to get started with this. Beginning with today's video with Rockstar Games doing their weekly update to GTA Online. It looks like this week a lot of what Rockstar wanted to do was do bonuses for the biker business. So, for example, they ended up doing the production for the biker business double with speeds, as well as they were going to do double money and RP for the biker sales missions. And with this one, they're also doing a bonus of $100,000 if you were able to make $200,000 worth of biker business product. Now, the great thing about this is there's actually not that many requirements to get started. So, if you want to go ahead and get started with this, the only thing you need to do is purchase two things. First one is going to be an MC Clubhouse. In order to purchase an MC Clubhouse, all you gotta do is make your way into any GTA Online session. And then from here, you just wanna go over to your phone, then go over to internet. And from here, just go over to money and services on this taskbar here. Once you go there, the next thing you wanna do is make your way over to the foreclosure space bank. And then click on enter site. Once you enter site, you're going to notice all of these businesses. And from here to make this easier, on the top right hand corner, just click on clubhouses. And now that's the only thing you can see. Thankfully, this week they're also discounted. So you want to go ahead and purchase one. And once you have one purchased, you then want to actually go and purchase businesses in that clubhouse. So sadly, they won't let you do it anywhere. You do have to go to your clubhouse. And so once you have it purchased, just go ahead and make your way there. Once you make your way over to your MC Clubhouse, you then want to go over to your computer and then go ahead and access it. What this will now do is take you to all of the businesses that you have purchased. And this is where you have to go to in order to buy a business. Great thing is, if you do own the criminal starter pack in the game, you can get the counterfeit cash factory absolutely for free. But everything else you will have to purchase. Great thing is, they are actually discounted this week, so of course, if you want to buy one, right now is the best time to do it. So once you purchase your business, which for this one, all you really need to do is just go ahead and own one, but you can actually get the max of five, which is the Document Forgery Office, Weed Farm, at Counterfeit Cash Factory, Meth Lab, and then Cocaine Lockup. And so at this point, once you have a business, you then want to go ahead and make your way over there to actually start doing supply runs. Now, thankfully, there's actually two different ways you can do supply runs. The first way is by going over to the business itself and requesting it from there. But the second option is if you do want a terabyte, you can actually call it in and request supplies from there. So from here, I'm just going to go and call in my terabyte, just make this quicker, and then go and do a supply run. Once you're at your MC Clubhouse or your terabyte, you then want to go to biker supplies, select which one you're going to be using, and then from here, you can now go ahead and steal supplies. And what's going to happen is if you ever have the, like, the acid lab or the bunker business, your supplies will slowly over time convert into product, in which then you can finally sell. And that's kind of the entire thing. I just wanted to go over the introduction of it. I didn't want to do an entire video based on it. And so at this point in time, if you do this, you can make 200000 And once you complete that 200000 you'll then get an additional bonus of 100000 which does take around 7 days for you to actually get that money. They normally don't give you that money until the weekly update's over with, or I think it's 72 hours once you complete the challenge. And so at this point, once you have that out of the way, you are now good to go for it. And so I do hope this video has helped you out. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. And also, if you do have any questions about this, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer it. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.